If we were to play a numbers game, well, such as pick a number between one and 10, I would bet you a nickel to a dollar that you'd pick number seven, because everybody knows seven's a lucky number. Well, so does Audi, and that's why they're introducing the beautiful, all new Audi Q7. So how is number seven a lucky number? Well, let's do the math. Number one, this bold, brash, in your face, 3D massive Audi grill. Number two, two redesigned advanced high intensity xenon headlights with Audi's signature unique LED daytime running lights, as well as the integrated fog light, which also doubles as a cornering light. Three beautiful LED brake lights in the back. Four beautifully styled 21 inch aluminum alloy wheels with, of course, Audi's signature, Quattro all-wheel drive. You get it? Quattro? Four? Huh? Get it? Five wonderful ways to get into the vehicle. Six beautiful cylinders that are mated to a supercharged turbo fuel stratified injected engine generating 333 horsepower, 325 foot-pounds of torque. And saving the best for last, seven magnificently luxurious seats. Seven really must be a lucky number because the Audi Q7 was introduced in the States back in 2007. And that number seven keeps rolling around this vehicle. For example, properly equipped, you can tow up to 7,700 pounds. Huh? Huh? Not only that, but the standard screen with the uh, premium and premium plus, the MMI screen, is uh, seven inches. <laughs> uh, looks like the weather's starting to get a little messy out here, but uh, that's all right. I have Quattro all-wheel drive beneath my wheels, and that'll take me where I want to go, regardless of the weather condition. Within reason, of course. You also can get the uh, adaptive air suspension system, which will adjust the height up to, I think, a 9.3 inch clearance, which is pretty cool. And you have the available all wheel steer with that as well. And that's cool because at lower speeds, like now, you want more control. The left turn wheels, the front will go to the left and the rear will go to the right just a little bit. But at a higher speed, they'll both you know, sync together. I like having the blind spot detection. It's a very bright light. I'll try to demonstrate it for you by running into cars. <laughs> no, I'm not gonna do that. I hate racing to the red light. Ah. Oh well, that'll give us some time to chat. What do you say? So what's new? What's good? How's your family? How's your mother? Tell her I said hello. But anyway, uh, they've lightened the vehicle, a lot of, lot of aluminum treatment throughout the vehicle, of course, and they have the start-stop system here, which will save a little bit of uh, fuel consumption. And you have a drag coefficient of, I believe it's 0.32 this year, reducing wind resistance. And that's pretty amazing because you've, you get 19 miles per gallon around town, 25 on the highway for a combined of 21. It's nice that they made the vehicle a little bit shorter, a little bit narrower, but you still have more interior space for the passengers or cargo, as it were. I like the exterior styling because it gives it a sleek appearance without being too wavy. I think it um, adds a bit more sophistication to the exterior. Now, you get a eight-speed Tiptronic automatic transmission with the new styled uh, 
putter style shifter this year here and it's kind of nice I mean it's electronic so you have to kind of get used to it you got to flip it around you do have the ability to flip it into sport mode and you do have your paddle shifters oh oh, oh. Um, yeah okay you've got the uh, layout with the with the air conditioning unit right here digital readouts you know quad zone the usual stuff but you can also run your finger across the controls for the fan and then you click it and raise it and it's just kind of nifty it kind of goes with the haptic feel of this new MMI uh, touchscreen, which is nice. You do have your controls at the bottom for your navigation, your telephone, your radio, and your media, of course. It's really nice how you can manipulate your navigation screen on the MMI touch face with just, you know, tapping it, swiping it, swipe out, swipe in, and, um, You've got these cool vents across the front, and this is the neat thing about it. Uh, these regular vents are controlled with the regular scroll wheels, but this middle one, the longest one, there's a button that enables you to control the air vent either up, center, or down. So it's an extra button on the dash that you have to learn how to use. That's not that hard. I really love the 12.3 inch virtual cockpit right here, which is uh, first introduced on the Audi TT and I think they're gonna roll it out pretty much across the board eventually. But it's great because you have an excellent multimedia interface display. You can scroll through it here on the steering wheel, get different controls, different views. You can uh, check some of the uh, stats of the vehicle. I have uh, two ways to configure it. I can also pull in my navigation screen from my 8.3 inch screen right onto here. And that amount, see it's right there, it's cool. It's so cool. And there's nothing better than this Google uh, Earth view and you've got you know the street view when you find your destination and uh, the lady talking to you on the Navi and the, what sounds really nice. Oh, yes! You've got, not that I need it today, double visors, double visors. There's a visor there and a visor there. It's awesome. You are so visored in this vehicle. I don't know if you can see it or not, but the head-up display, navigation instructions, your adaptive cruise control warnings in case you get too close. It'll give you the street speed limits as well as how fast you're going and exceeding those limits. Uh, ba -da -ba 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 -ba. Your standard stereo system is a 10-speaker system with a CD changer and MP3 player uh, capability. We have the optional Bose system, which is 19 speakers, 500, I believe it's 38 watts, all right? I could be wrong, 38 watts. You go up to the Bang & Olufsen system, and you're looking at 23 speakers, 1920 watts. Oh, yeah, 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 okay, 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 okay. You've got a storage area right there with a the power outlet. You can put stuff there. You've got center console with your power sources and of course your USB and adaptive auxiliary inputs, things like that. But you have two 12 volt power sources in the back of the console right down here for the people in the rear, which I'm sure they appreciate. Oh yeah, and you have a glove box, nothing special about it. But what is really cool are the ambient lighting strips around here. And it's kind of hard to see with this daylight, but at night you can, you know, make the the, the cockpit glow with either a white accent line uh, of light or blue or red. Red, white, and blue. Very patriotic. And you do have an electronic brake right here, which is nice. Your stereo control is at your fingertips in case you want to crank up the uh, sound. You also have, of course, you have, you have your backup camera and you got the, the, the lane guide assists. You have a 360 camera available so I can see everything around me. You have parking assist front and rear so when you start coming too close to an object it starts beeping and making noises and illuminating it and letting you know exactly where you're at. So even though you're driving a, a larger vehicle, a seven passenger vehicle, you still feel secure, you know, maneuvering around town. All right. I don't want to take up a lot of your time and I don't want to use up a lot of my time. So let me just read you some of the safety technology that's available on this vehicle. You have your pre-sense warning. 
case of an imminent accident or you're making emergency maneuvers. You have your Presense Plus, which adds warning lights and warning sounds. You have your Presense Rear, same thing for the back. You have your Presense City, which means it'll even pull it to a dead stop up to 25 miles an hour. Uh, traffic Jam Assist, uh, 0 to 37 miles per hour. Uh, turn Assist helps you keep you from turning into traffic. Uh, backup Assist, Vehicle Exit Assist, Night Vision Assist. With the feature, if you have your infrared camera and your thermal imaging display, it lets you uh, see objects and animals and people up to 300 feet at night, um, which is kind of a cool feature. Rear Cross Traffic Assist, uh, Trailer Assist. If you're going to add a trailer on the back of the vehicle, uh, then you get a little camera to see how to load it right. It's just cool. Uh, adaptive Cruise Control, Blind Spot Assist, Lane Cape Assist, Lane, lane Cape, Cape, Lane Keep Assist. I'm sorry, I got a little tongue tied. But anyway, there's a lot of assistance in this vehicle. So if you have an accident driving this vehicle, it's your fault. It's not the Audi Q7s. Okay, let's talk about some of the creature comforts. The seating, for example. Front seats are extremely comfortable. They have leather seating surfaces standard. You can also bump up to the uh, Valcona leather seating as well. Heated seats, heated steering wheel, a 12-way adjustable power seat is standard, and you can also get 18-way adjustable as well, including a lower lumbar support control, which is nice. Now, the people in the back seat, that is the middle row, uh, have a lot of leg room, a lot of head room, because this panoramic moonroof with the power shade, here, it'll take a minute, because this moonroof is huge huge panoramic I mean one of the biggest I've seen now as far as people in the back are concerned the little tykes or the you know relatives you really don't like um, they're gonna suffer because it's not that bad but it's not great but who cares they're way in the back that's their problem but getting them in to the back seat is really easy it's a two-step process uh, where you've got to, you know, fold the seat down and then pull another lever. But there's piston controls for those seats. Hydraulics that'll raise them up. And that makes it a little bit more convenient, a little bit more comfortable. Now, in case I forget to mention, with the back seat up, you have 14.8 cubic feet of cargo space, which is nominal to say the best, but, you know, it's there. If you fold the second seats down, now you've got 37.5 cubic feet of cargo space. And if you pack all three seats down, you have 71.6 cubic feet. And some people have a hard time visualizing a cubic foot. And the way I like to explain it is, think about going to a sporting goods store and picking up a basketball, but the basketball is in the box. Well, that's about the size of a cubic foot. So you could fit 71.6 basketballs in boxes back here. And that's a lot of space. For those of you that have been wondering this entire review, what I mentioned, the fact that there is no spare tire, just an inflator kit. Well, it's your lucky day. The time has come, and I just did. Oh, well. Since I'm not going to go very fast on this drive, and I'm, I'm sorry, because I can go 0 to 60 in 5.7 seconds, uh, it'll give me a chance to talk a little bit about the controls for your uh, drive select. My off-road, I can get comfort mode, I have auto mode, a dynamic driving mode, and I can set up individual parameters. And if I had the air suspension, I'd be able to have two more adjustments as well. Now here in the United States, the premium starts out at $54,800. When you bump up to the premium plus, that'll be $58,800, and the Prestige, top of the line, starts out at only 64300 But you have the opportunity to bump that price up a lot, well over $80,000, if you were to add all of the wonderful option packages that are available. I'm going to give you one word to consider. It's the word improvement. And I think the Q7 is a stellar example of that. They've improved the exterior styling, a little bit more sophisticated. They have improved the fuel efficiency of the vehicle. They have improved the technology, uh, the virtual cockpit, and, and all of the safety built into the vehicle. They've improved the ride and comfort. 
they've given you uh, the flexibility to choose between uh, the, the premium, premium plus or the prestige packages and, and options galore. This is a nicely, vastly improved machine that you need to check out for yourself. Experience it. You'll like it. You might even love it.